Well, hi, and thanks for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun Channel. Today is kind of a rainy day, but uh, we've had intermittent rain, so I'm out here in between raindrops trying to get a little bit of shooting in, uh, and I thought I'd bring you guys along because the rifle's been impressing me. And what rifle is it? It's a, it's a Hotson Model 95. That's what it is. It's the spring-powered version. It's not the, uh, the gas ram. Um, this gun is surprising me now that I've uh, worked out a little bit of the trigger issues I was having with it. These things have a trigger that uh, Hotson brags about as a, as a uh, I think they call it a match trigger <laughs> or a target trigger, something like that. But they they are they herald it as a fantastic trigger, but it comes out so heavy. Um, the trigger pull on this gun had to be between six and seven pounds. I don't think I tested it before I uh, I did this mod, and I haven't tested it since. But there's a mod that you can find if you look online. I won't get into it in too much detail. It just uh, suffice to say you're changing out an adjustment screw or two, and you end up with a, a much better trigger, something you can handle a little bit more. And from there, I was able to merely make some impressive shooting with this 20 two caliber um, Hotson model 95 uh, this is a two to seven power scope and we're going to be shooting at 25 yards trying to be as precise as possible so the scope really doesn't lend itself as well to that as something with a little more uh, magnification but we're going to do the best we can do and I think you'll be impressed with this little rifle so stick around this ought to be fun and thanks again for stopping by the pellets and pistons air gun channel Okay, so we're at the bench with a hot sound model 95. We're going to be shooting 25 yards with H&N field target trophy pellets at 14.66 grain. Again, this is a 22 caliber air rifle. <clears throat> the uh, targets are rather small out there. They're about maybe a quarter inch. Uh, I drew those by hand, so they're not perfect. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, since I did this trigger mod, I'm actually able to, to do pretty good. So we're going to shoot at that dot that's as close to center as as it could be in your frame. I have a hard time with my camera sometimes, but we're pretty close. All right, we're going to take five shots, 25 yards, with the Hotson Model 95 spring-powered air rifle. Shot number one. You know, it's kind of crude, the gun, um, as far as the metal work goes. It looks like they they, they didn't really make an effort to polish it. Um, it's noisy when you cock and close it. It's a, kind of a clunky gun, uh, but it's also extremely affordable, and it seems to be performing, <laughs> you know, uh, very well. So let's try it again. Shot number two. I mean, you can't ask for much more for the price that you pay for this rifle. Uh, it's a Turkish walnut stock. It is attractive. The, the checkering is useless. It looks pretty, but it doesn't serve any purpose. It has no sharpness to it whatsoever. Uh, but um, the stock is pretty, but it's also easily scratched. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you do own one of these, you got to be real gentle with it because it'll, it'll get damaged easy. The stock will. Shot number three. Let me just hit one you hit that one. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're, that's what us two to seven power scope at this range. That's a pretty darn good group so far. All right, this will be shot number four. Ooh, that one was out of there. I think that was me. I apologize. Maybe we'll take six shots just to make up for that fly, or <laughs> if number five proves to be a decent shot. This is shot number five. Hmm. I don't know. We'll try one more. But at any rate, uh, again, that um, that dot you're seeing is a quarter inch diameter at 25 yards. So even with those two a little bit off, that's still a deadly shot on a squirrel. Shot number six. There we 
we go. That's back in the group. So anyway, that is the Hotson Model 95 spring-powered air rifle at 25 yards. I'm impressed. I don't know if you guys are, but I thought we'd revisit this gun. We've done a video or two on it in the past, but uh, I don't think we ever really put it to an accuracy test because I wasn't really pleased with the trigger on it. I think we did some plinking with it, and it did okay for itself. But now, with that trigger set up the way it is now, I can actually shoot this gun and really enjoy it. So at any rate, I think we'll celebrate by ringing the bell, but I'm going to cut the video here and we're going to zoom in on the bell and give you a shot of that too, all right? So we'll be right back. All right. Let's see what we can do about hitting that bell out there at 60 yards. This gun has quite a bit of force. I forget what the output is, um, but it, it hits with quite a bit of authority. So at uh, 60 yards on that bell, we should be able to hear that shot pretty well, I would think. So let's see if I'm right. Let's take a shot at that bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that rings like a charm. <laughs> These 22, con, uh, 22 caliber pellets really do pack a punch con, uh, compared to the little 177. All right, shot number two at that bell. Let's try it again. <laughs> and one more time, just because it's fun. <laughs> uh, I think my neighbors must hate me. Every time I make a video... That bell gets rung a few times. And my wife has been for walks in the neighborhood and says you can hear it from a long way off. <laughs> shot number three, final shot at that bell. All right. So that's the Hot Sound Model 95 with a little bit of a trigger mod. And uh, let me tell you, this gun with the spring and the 22 caliber can't be beat for the price. It really is a heck of a gun. All right. So thanks again for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Hit the bell to be reminded of future videos, and by all means, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Thanks again, folks. Have a great day.